Hey everybody, Radamon here. Thanks for tuning in to the Blades of Ragnarok episode 57, which originally aired live on Twitch. Let's get started. So, for the briefest of recaps, uh, Wolu managed to kill, in a fit of berserker rage, uh, Crypto, who we have left in a unmarked grave somewhere where we can never return. Which is very unfortunate, but it it happens. Um, there are some important decisions to be made here. Continually, how much effort... I will continue to look for Resmex here. Uh, that was voted on, and I'll respect that vote. But the new question is... To what ends? To what effort? And does it even really exist? Is it is it a myth? It's seeming a little bit mythical to me now. But uh, we'll continue. So right at the end of last episode, or stream, both, I guess, is true. Uh, Wolu ran in, stole a bunch of stuff from these bugs, and ran out. He's bleeding, but he's going to self-tend. Uh, it says he's out of food, but that's just because I need to change his food allowance to almost everything. Um, back home, I believe we had polls for this, but I'm going to poll for this again in, in a short period of time. And the polls are going to be basically who's going to get this uh, architect and um, bionic stuff. For all of you showing an enormous amount of love, thank you. Thank you so very much. You know, all the bits and all that. All right, let's 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 get the show on the road here. So, uh, he's self-tended. Yep, he's already self-tended and now he's going to walk home. Uh, so I will be polling, like I said, soon. Uh, the poll will basically be how am I going to conduct the search for Resmex Serum and what sort of human resources am I going to earmark for it. Uh, and I only ask this because we have gone to just really amazing lengths and I've cleared quite a lot. And we're getting to a point where I don't feel any closer to knowing or having serum than when I started. I just have more dead people. Um, watch it be just be like, oh, a cluster lands and it's Resmex serum. No, it's chem fuel. And in fact, I'm going to abandon... Uh, whoa, it's called Wolu's Cavern? Oh, I guess I named that. No, it's not called Wolu's. Uh, Unwasu, or whatever it's called. Bye-bye. All right, so he is moving home. I would say in about 25 minutes, about half past the hour... Unless you're in one of those 0.5 time zones, which I guess could have happened. Uh, I am going to pull you guys for... And, and this is sort of the ideas. And if you want to riff on my ideas and provide me feedback, uh, it is most welcome. Uh, but essentially, the ideas that I'm having are as follows. Do we have... Wolu being the murderer that he is. Uh, do we have Wolu be the only one to search for Resmex serum? Or are we going to continue to dedicate other manpower for it? And if it is only Wolu, um, how is he going to search for Serum? Because there is a concept here where I can just crack into a Ancient Danger and see if they have Serum, and if they don't, just leave. Forget forget the gear. You know, forget the the goods. Forget useless artifacts. Maybe I would take Architect stuff uh, but pretty much everything else besides Architect stuff, I wouldn't really need to worry about. Because we're really only after Resmex Serum, so maybe that's exactly what we do. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the answer. But for everybody in the chat here, Scandia with the resub, Sky with a gift to Tumbling Satellite, Evil Runner with bits, Teddy, Sky, MVP, Divide by Zero, Frank, uh, Dub, Matt, and I am tooth for bits, and then of course resubs for Kiba and Embers. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. I really, really do. Can exotic traders have Resmex Serum? No, they cannot. A Resmex Serum is um, it is reserved as an artifact that is cell only in the code. Which means the only way you ever find it is by either getting a quest for it 
which is possible that we get a quest for it. Right now, I'm on a quest right now to uh, look after McFly here, uh, who's legless. So we'll just call him legless, I guess. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, it's possible to get a epic tier quest to give you Resmic Serum or to find an Ancient Dangers. Now, the only thing that I, I can say is it is possible it doesn't exist because of the Viking mod. I did look at a little bit of the Viking mod's code and I can't find any reason why or where the Viking mod would have taken it out, but I can't also confirm that it is definitely a thing. So one of these I cannot confirm or deny. A pet tusk. All right, let me try to call her in. Here she comes. Oh yeah. Hi cutie. I called Echo too, but we all know, we all know Echo. She never shows. Well, look at that hype train. There's a, I can't show you cause it would be impossible. It'd be kind of meta. There's a new hype train animation going on with my recording software and it's going crazy that is very distracting actually I, it's kind of fun to watch but then I've got to say I'm not really sure it's going to stick around very long because it was like uh it was like fireworks blowing up in my recording software which is kind of immature for a professional recording software there we go a little camera adjustment so you might be able to see tusk from time to time Hey, it doesn't. How you doing, does? Are you excited for the uh, 2.0 big, big patch of uh, Squad? If you haven't checked out Doesn't Donut, go do it. Very similar vibes. Oh, well, that's not how to shout anyone out. You'd think I'd know that, but I guess I need more coffee. Um, he's been playing... Daisy and Squad, and uh, I joined him on Squad last week. Maybe I'll have to do that again. I had to download like a like thirty something mega gigabyte patch for uh, for Squad. I didn't actually check out the patch notes, but it looked it looked significant. So before we have the poll, oh, that's another thing. Is um, I think the polling software that I usually use is broken right now. So we're gonna have to use Twitch polls unless I can get it working in the next, let's say, five minutes. Just the website is down. I don't know what happened to it. It's obviously not me, because my internet seems to be fine. But if I can't bring that up, uh, for all of YouTube, if you're wondering where the polls are, they were on Twitch and Twitch only, because the little piece of software I use to poll uh, broke, which means on Twitch polls, you can only have up to like five options. And uh, I don't know how it looks on mobile, but it might look a little weird. But we'll see if that if that can't be brought up. So other problems at home. We are working on the Angry Prisoner quest, which is McFly. Now he's not gonna cause us any trouble because he does not have legs. Uh, we have the pirates and the sunblocker. So there's a sunblocker of 14 pirates that are messing with us right now. Boy, did I do I ever wish that we had Sven because far skip would be just immensely useful right now um so at some point we're definitely gonna have to do a trek out to the sunblocker to destroy it because if we don't you know all this solar power panels that i've got here do nothing and we are subsisting off of um off of geo only uh the trouble is none of my hay that i have sown is going to be grown um because once these lights turn on, as you can see, I only maybe have enough for one more grow light. So let's see. Uh, this grow light is using all spots. So let's turn on this grow light. And that's probably all that I can afford unless I add some more wind or something like that. But I think it would be best if we just kill those pirates. There's also some other goals for this stream that, we're, that I might have you all vote on. Uh, the goals would be, do we raid tribals in hopes of capturing a doctor someone that at least has a passion in medicine so the benefit of that would be right now as you can see in the work tab we don't really have a doctor 
I've been training Sin to do it by like removing and replacing this dude's legs. I mean, it's not a it's a pretty imperfect situation that we have ourselves in. Uh so I'm gonna have as long as Sin doesn't have a mental break here. Geez, Sin. Chill. As long as Sin doesn't have a mental break here, um I've been having Sin practice medicine, but she's not really ever gonna be good at it. She doesn't have a passion in it, so she only can level up so far. Uh, so the concept here is, as we are Viking, we only can capture other Vikings. So if we wanted to add doctors to our tribe, we would have to attack uh, either the Abakam Coalition, the Pact of Zaxi, the Union of Kamloga, or the Bear Clan. No other clans are obviously tribal, right? You know, the Pirate Band and the Outlander Unions and the Sh Sh Shattered Empire are obviously not tribal and as a result uh no one that we would capture there would be recruitable so that's another goal to think about uh in conjunction with our quest for resmex serum but again i don't think i can pull you guys with the overlay and all that it what was crazy was working up until about 20 minutes ago right before i went live so i feel personally attacked i'm just kidding i really don't Oh, we have a visitor from Aborn's clan. Who, not that we would capture her because she's from Aborn's clan, of, of course, but who literally does not do medicine. I guess it runs in our familial blood. No doctors need apply, need training, I guess. I broke it. Yeah, clearly I broke it. It's been working for years and it breaks the moment I want it to work. What are these map tiles? These are abandoned settlements. These are settlements that I have searched for Resmex serum and come up dry. Um, yep. Not much I could do about that, honestly. It is a lot, yes, I've searched. I mean, when you figure about, you average about two Ancient Dangers per, per settlement. I've searched, I don't know, 35 Ancient Dangers, something like that in a ballpark. Orange Chaos, thanks for the resub as well. All right, Pole, it's not gonna work. So the first question is, well, I honestly, I don't even think I'm gonna do the, um, the surgeries until I have a good doctor. So maybe I don't even need to ask you all about that. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow Wolu to rest and then have him head out again, search for Resmex Serum. So the first thing I'm going to pull, and give me a second, I'm going to have to tap it up, is... All right, so here is the poll. I'll leave it up for five minutes. And let me explain. When we open an Ancient Danger, when we peek into it using the little, like, corner exploit, if basically you're voting on what we should grab. So if we only grab the serums, that means that I probably search more Ancient Dangers per hour because the vast majority of the Ancient Dangers, we're not even going to bother going into them. If we grab only the best stuff, the best stuff would be stuff like Architect items and um and serums and you know just stuff that is irreplaceable uh so bionics or crummy weapons or whatever can be and will be ignored uh and grabbing everything is which i spelled wrong of course because you know fat fingers uh grabbing everything is more or less what we've been doing but it's maybe not the most sustainable way of going about it. Oh, 
Okay. So it is six in the morning. I think also the first thing I want to do, or the next thing I want to do, is uh, take care of the pirates. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I am, knowing that there are 14 pirates, which is not an insignificant amount of enemies at a sunblocker. I'm going to send a lot of people. Um, I think that's the right call. So it's 6 in the morning now. I don't have anything in this. Oh, no. Uh, here's mead. Let me kick that out and haul it. So Sin is going to stay behind uh, to take care of uh, McFly. McFly's not going to give her any trouble because he's can't move. And then I think... I think Freya is going to stay behind too, leaving Wolu to be the only brawler. So these guys are going to go. Maybe I'll have not stay behind too. So let me uh, let me move these guys around. So these six. I probably need four pods for that. So Wolu, Naz, Arna, Thora, Scard, and Edith are going to be the ones that travel. I'm going to bring the two horses, or a horse. Okay, apparently, I want to bring both horses, but... Can you haul the... I can't really do it until they move the meat out of the way. Alright, let's try this again. And not would stay behind so that he can continue smithing. Because without him smithing our stuff, uh, we have pretty limited ability to continue. So let's bring some kibble for the horses. I'll bring Kep Pemmican, and uh, we're going to bring a significant amount of fine meals. It's not going to decay because it's just too cold out. We're in late December. Bring some meds with us. And if Wolu's going, bring extra go juice. And that might be about it. I don't think I really need anything else. These skill trainers and side trainers I don't need. Uh, beds would be nice, but I don't even know if we're going to have carry weight for them, if I'm being perfectly honest. Maybe I will. I'll let some beds go. Let's take fewer kibble in lieu of beds. That's a lot of mess. All right. Oh, uh, it's too heavy. Uh, sorry, kibble. If I need to, I can always build another pod and uh, and send more kibble along afterwards. Except for I think Wolu's the only constructor. No. Yeah, all the other constructors are leaving. Well, well, I don't know. We'll, we'll deal with it. So it looks like grabbing only the best stuff is going to be the key. Uh, and I'll be doing that after I clear this uh, sun blocker. I don't really want my sun to be blocked forever. It's kind of annoying. Uh, did I notice that Ravagers doesn't cover the next slot? The Ravager armor. Yes, uh, I did notice there was a YouTube comment about this. So if you take a look here, the Ravager armor here um, doesn't have neck coverage, which is a particularly vulnerable spot. So it's just left up to the Devil Strand or whatever we have underneath it, which is why we have vulnerabilities. Um, it's another reason why I'm leaving Not behind, because Not is going to be able to get us armors uh, once we research for it that do, do have net coverage, recon armors namely. Um, but I'm also researching uh, skin hardening right now so that we can, you know, be tougher without even armor. So, there's some benefit there. Oh, Edith, you're not going to be a quick mover on this journey, are you? What do you mean Comey's not available? He's sitting in the pod. I think. All right, here we go. Everybody in, pod launch ready. We are going to go to the Sunblocker Edge. 
I don't have a lot of steel to be able to... Well, no, I have a decent amount of steel to be able to replace... Let me pause it. Okay, no one back home can construct, so they are without a lifeline. Taking a look. They do have some... They have particularly good long-range weapons, so that is of concern. Um... My horses immediately jump on the, uh, the good meals. Of course they do. Quit eating my meals, yo. Alright. There we are. Analyzing the terrain with their sniper rifles. I'm going to want to make an approach maybe from the south here. Which means let's zone our horses here and then have them move into position eventually. Uh, back home, Freya's gonna be researching. Well, she's a night owl, so she's asleep right now. Oh, quest the Dusty Nomad. Visitors help. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be accepting this until the quest is done because if the refugees decide to fight me, I only have three people home, which is not enough to defend against. I mean, I do have a bear and a wolf, but it's still not a lot to defend against uh, refugees. So we've got a shock lance, a incendiary lance, uh, frag grenades. Uh, these guys don't have particularly amazing gear. One does have a, uh, <clears throat> a low shield pack. We've got some sniper rifles, gren grenadiers, and the like. But they obviously outranged me, so I'm gonna have to get a little closer. The uh, the plasma rifles just don't have amazing range. All right, animals, your second zone will be over here. Get moving. This shouldn't be too bad as long as I take it slow and safe. So the crypto armor here does cover neck, so any bloodlusters like Sin would be able to wear the crypto armor, uh, just for, for reference. Sin's not really a good combatant. She is... He? Oh, sorry. He has basically no skill at fighting, but something worth note noting, I guess. So it looks to me like they're... Um, oh, that's a standing lamp. That's not even a turret. I guess they don't even have turrets. Alright, come on, Rob. You want to fight me? Let me get myself into position. Wolu is going to be in the pocket. Now, there is only... Ooh, you were a super drug addict, weren't you? Yes, you were. Uh, there was only 14 of them, so I only have to kill 7, or 6 more, rather, uh, until they leave. Uh, however, there is... They've, they've got some range on me, right? So I gotta be a little bit careful about that. I can also make them insane, so... Um, let me do that to Sora and Erickson. I'll use the, uh, the charge here. Okay, Arna's getting hit. There's the low-pack shield. Uh, Scarred, how did you get... Oh, yeah, you got sniped. I'm gonna pull my guys back a little bit and let the let them fight themselves while I pick off the ones that proceed forward. Unfortunately, this cluster of trees is not going to be very good for um, for cover because there's not really grown. Uh, one more animal zone. I'm gonna put the actually I guess that was the original zone. I'm gonna move the animals again because I don't want them getting shot. I've already lost a whole lot of animals, so if I can, you know, help to lose fewer, we'll do it. 
They're all preoccupied, so let me go try to shoot Felix in the back. That's going to be a pretty easy kill. All right, there we are. Let's take a little bit more cover. Thor's getting hit. Yeah, these little trees are just not good cover. Edith getting hit. All right, uh, Wolu, let's get to it. Wow, that was a crush. So far, no bad bleeds or anything. How many down are they? Uh, one, two, three, four? So, just a few more. Uh, let's have everyone focus on the grenadier that's coming in, though. Let's not get grenades thrown at us. All right, and let's now focus on Ray. And now they're fleeing. Right as uh, we'll lose shield breaks. They're fleeing towards me, so they obviously have never taken algebra or any sort of logic classes. Solid move, guys. Solid move. Run, run. Usually it's run away from the enemy, but in your case, it's run towards the enemy, and I like it. Um. Another thing I wanted to check is, do I need any organs? I don't believe I'm missing a lung or anything. All right, I thumb, thumb, no. I don't need to take any organs, okay. Because obviously these guys could be perfect organ donors, but that is not needed. Uh, so, some doctoring. I don't even really need a doctor. We'll doctor when we're in caravan. So let's get this sunblocker down and destroyed. I don't think anyone's um seriously bleeding. Scarred is the closest, and he's bleeding only 36% uh, per day. Hey, Chelsea, thanks for the resub. And Stutach, thanks for the gift. McDoom, welcome. I'm glad that you followed. And Ruburn, the resub as well during that combat. Now, is there anything that these guys are wearing that I want? Uh, the flak vest wouldn't be terrible to strip. I guess. I guess. And then there's going to be a lot of drugs that we can reclaim. Uh, there is some cloth that we can reclaim from the sandbags. So Arna and Wolu, who are constructors, are going to get to that. And Edith. It's funny that they have a solar powered base and a sun blocker. It's like you guys really didn't coordinate this very well, did you? But I guess this stands to reason. Their logic was to flee towards me, so I don't know. I could strip the floors, but the floors are only steel tile, and um, steel has a pretty heavy carry weight, so it's not likely that I would use it. There's no precious metals in these mountains, so that's not something I'm going to go for either. Some blockers gone. Uh, do not roof that. Once we destroy the uh, the sandbags for cloth, uh, we'll be good to go. Oh, you know what? Everyone's going to sleep, so let's just leave now. The job's done. Let's get home. There's not a whole lot of wealth I'm leaving behind. Not significant enough that it matters. So we'll take the variety of drugs that these guys were hooked on. The plasteel. Um, the sniper rifles. All three. The LMGs, because why not? Molotov. There should be a flak vest in here somewhere. Here it is. And a shield belt. Grab their meals. And then whatever steel that we can carry. No, that's going to slow us down by a tile, a full tile. So I'm, I'm going to leave the steel behind. Um, we'll just grab some additional guns, not that they have a lot of resale value. All right, send it and enter home. So the sun came back. Oh, did I just kill another Nazkin? Oh, or whatever. 
he has now lost like three family trees worth. I know it's like, how do you have more than one family tree? But honestly, somehow he has. He's related to everybody and everybody that he's related to dies. So, Freya, you are researching skin hardening, and then when you're done, let's go to recon armor to stop that neck slicing. I almost want to modify the uh, the armors here, the Ravager armors, and just add neck armor. But that would be cheating, so I won't. But I didn't realize there was no nut coverage there. That does explain a lot of deaths, though. Quite a lot of those deaths. It's not Naz's fault. His kin are all jerks. Well, they keep trying to kill me, so yeah, I mean, I, I agree. Alright, apparently I need a warden. Didn't I leave... Whatever, not... You're the warden now. You're, uh, Sin, you're the warden. Because you're also the doctor. I've got another poll for you all. It's about that time. So this is a pretty straightforward poll. Our numbers have dwindled. Um, we don't have a, a, a clan doctor anymore. So should I make an effort to abduct tribals? As I was explaining about, I don't know, 15 minutes ago. We could try to do raids on tribal villages to abduct a potential doctor. I mean, there's different things that we could do to try to increase our odds to get doctors, right? Um, so should we? And at what effort? So either should we yes, no, or only if it's easy to do. Um... Tribal raids aren't necessarily easy to do because of the distance required. Uh, but there might also be quests that come up, like these Dusty Nomads. Like, it's possible that if these Dusty Nomads... I don't think it's actually possible that they would be tribal. Most Nomads are uh, Outlander Union tech. But if they are somehow tribal, let's say, I could just arrest them or something. You know? So, anytime there's an opportunity to potentially get more tribals, I will... Um, I'll poll you guys to see what you all think. Because I think it is going to be pretty important that we doctor up. We have a lot of, uh, we have a lot of bionics and architect that just can't be used as a result. You know. Slave traders never have tribals. So that is a, it's a interesting thought, but, um, Slave traders will never have tribal backgrounds. They are coded not to be. Will they survive the journey back home? Yeah, they'll be fine. Scarred is actually a ahead of his infection. Everybody has food. Um, I might need to change some of their diets to almost everything. But it's I, I brought enough fine meals here that it really ought not to be an issue. And because it's cold enough, the ambient temperature is cold enough, those meals aren't going to rot. No more Yoda carrots? No. No, not today. I like how we've delivered all the, well, some of the resources for these transport pods. Posture check. You've got it. So not. You don't have a bench for components, do you? Well, I probably shouldn't make it a granite. It's probably a waste of granite. 
Oh, there's a light bulb there. Oh, okay. Let's move the component shelf. Although no one currently in the base can grow or uh, to, can build all that well. All right, so some of these guys are uh, getting fully recovered. There's also the possibility of splitting the caravan and having Wolu take Gojuice, Luciferium, um, all those simple meals, or actually, let's give them fine meals, and a masterwork bedroll, splitting off and going into danger delving on his own. So, Wolu, settle right there. Isn't that in front of an art bench? Uh, yep. Well, actually, stone cutter. I can, I can tweak it. Will the storyteller try to kill all the plants this stream? Uh, maybe. What I can say is the, the storyteller probably won't allow me to resurrect you this stream. I mean, I really hope. But... I wouldn't hold my breath. So you voted, just a little reminder, to only grab the important stuff. Uh, so there was a Ancient Danger right next to where I, in the middle of the map here. And as far as I can tell, it's the only one. Our exit point is southeast. So let's get, let's get destroying. Oh, wow, that didn't reveal it. Okay. Uh, we have compact weaponry. Okay, yep. It's, it's actually, this one would be easy to steal from because they don't seem to even be paying attention to me. Sorry, Scythes. So that Glow World Medicine's mine now. I'm not going to bother with the tech prints and anything else. Now, there is an argument to be made that the more tech prints I take, uh, the greater my chance to get Rhizomax Serum. Because once you have all the tech prints unlocked, and that brings me to another point. Uh, once you have all the tech prints unlocked, um, you stop finding tech prints. Is just a... That's kind of the way the game works. Oddly. Like, you only... You're given the chance to find tech prints only when you need them. So, um, I might want to try to grab that tech print. How fast am I moving? Oh, 658? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, the only problem trying to steal the other one is the, uh... The... Maybe if I break here, that'd be better. No, do it from the outside, dude. Because then I can snake around, grab it, and leave. So where's the other side there? He's... Okay, he's coming back. Yoink! Go south. It is becoming darker out. So I will, as a result of the light level... Yep, I just lost light level speed. Whereas the Scyther has not, of course. They don't. I guess they have infrared or something. Okay, so our exit point was somewhere down in the southeast. I'm already out running the Scyther. And we're good. I'm going to leave the pulsers. They're not that important. Sin needs one, though. Oh, my God. Look at Sin's mood. Why is your... Oh, because I killed your brother. Well, my guess is he tried to kill us, so he had it coming. Eye for an eye makes the Viking clan blind, which is very true considering I'm missing a few eyes. So there's the circadian influence that Freya just got. And a half-cycler, if I had a doctor, a half-cycler would be a good investment in Wolu if he's going to go ancient danger hunting. Okay, so the exit point is here. I like how this Scyther is just following me the whole time. You do realize you can't catch me. I am made of ginger, and I am a man. He's trying, though. Good for him. So he moves at 4-7. I move it... 5-2. It does not look like I'm really outpacing him, but... 
Apparently I am. Alright, Sin is gonna have a full-on mental breakdown here in a second. It's not worth me, I don't think. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't believe it's worth it to me to hit a pulser for Sin alone. So I'm not going to. Naz is uh, not kind of tonic. No, he's he's on caravan. Needs starvation. Oh yeah, what? Who's not and Freya are starving? Uh, yeah, because no one's making food anymore. Cool. Let's change the food to simple meals. Good eye. Just a little bit of starvation. All the dock, all the uh, the cooks left. Okay, Wolu is almost in position, but is currently resting. Freya is researching for us skin hardening, which will help with the whole almost full decapitation issues that we've been having, but uh, so would um, uh, it, we would also be helped if we uh, we made sure that we got armor that covered the neck. Ignore the hay grass rotting, it's just because I didn't have the power for it. Uh, we will, I will turn these back on once they're sewn. But there's no point in turning them on to have them grow some hay. We want to grow all hay. What is my total hours playing RimWorld? It's a question I get often, and it's a question I'm unable to answer because I started playing RimWorld before it was on Steam. Uh, so I have hours in Rim, uh, probably a lot of hours, in fact, in RimWorld uh, that, that I never logged. I wouldn't say 5k plus, I'd say in the range of 3k or so, but I'm not, I really don't know. I really truly don't know. Yeah, I was a very early uh, person to sign on to RimWorld far before it came to Steam. And that's true of like a lot of games. I, you know, historically, even before, I, I started playing RimWorld before I was ever like a content creator or whatever. Um, but I've backed a lot of Kickstarters. Um, most of them flop, but no regrets for me. As a X, oh good, Sin, who are you trying to kill? All animals. Uh, not. Or Freya? Okay, not, I want you to try to do the arrest, because if Freya does, she's going to kill Sin with her sword if it fails. Boom! Whoa! Look at that! Timed to the second. Shallow Gene Pool, none the wiser that he was about to get his neck slit open. All right, Sin is no longer trying to slaughter random animals. Uh, I got catharsis for nothing. And uh, I like it. That works for me. Free catharsis. It's a good thing when your brother dies. Agnissa? Agnissa's really not a, a masculine name, Sin. You might... Yeah, that's that's an unfortunate name. Just in time. Yeah, that was really close. When I when I drafted um not, he kind of just like lagged a second and just like froze and didn't move, even though I instructed him to move. So I was like, you better hurry. You better hurry. Okay, don't worry about loading the uh, berries. So, what is our exit point? It is... Sal... Uh, no, it's West Central. No, it isn't. Wait, what? Okay, it's Southwest. Uh, and then, if I'm looking for Ancient Dangers... Oh, that's just late. 
There's obviously one here. And I do believe that's the only one. And now I have black keys stuck in my head. Could be worse. Could have been baby. No, just kidding. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you guys. Even though I'm pretty sure I just earwormed half of you. <clears throat> and a manhunter pack of wolfhounds. All right. Uh, all right, animals. You are going to be carns to the carnivore. And everybody else, stay, f stay close. Taking a quick glance at stay close. It looks good. My caravan will arrive soon, yes. Yes, it will. I know. I think, no, these these wolves might, oh, wolfhounds, I should say, they're not wolves, might all go west, and the caravan's likely to enter east. So it might not be a problem, we'll see. Uh, Wolu is here and ready. Let's crack this corner here, see what's inside. Yeah, I know, it's an ancient danger. Thank you, game. Uh. Compact Reparee, isn't that what I already have? Yeah, all right, so there's nothing of worth here. I'm gonna travel home. Plus, I'm not about to take on a charge blasting centipede for any reason. Oh, did we change? Oh no, you just don't wanna walk through water. Okay, that's fine. So now I can ignore Wolu because Wolu, I'm gonna be sending just home now with Compact Reparee so that we can uh, tech print it so that it stops getting offered to me because as long as I haven't unlocked the tech, it will keep showing up as a tech print, and it's the last tech print I need. So getting that last tech print uh, applied to the bench will increase my odds of, um, it will increase my odds of finding uh, Rhizmex Serum as an interesting, uh, you know, side effect of getting all the tech prints unlocked. So I'm excited about that. So these guys are home in half a day. All of the wolfhounds, I think. Let me double check. Yeah, all of the wolfhounds are west now. So I think that's fine for my uh, for my guys to enter in this way. They are, how fast? Okay, they're pretty fast animals though. They're pretty fast animals, so I gotta be, I gotta be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hate grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. All right. Well, let's check one more ancient danger area because you've got the food and the medicine and the will to do it. Okay, so we are... Scard's already over his infection. That was fast. That was impressive. So after this one, we'll definitely go home with Wolu. I'm sure I'm just going to get another s stupid compact weaponry tech print, which is honestly probably the worst tech print in the game. That and... Now, let me take a look. Uh... Yeah, compact we weaponry sucks. Like, badly. Yeah, I would say it's the worst. Molecular analysis. No, no, even that's more useful. Yeah, it's the worst one. It is the worst one. In my opinion. Because all those uh, compact weapons are worse than just like a power claw. Oh, you know what? There's not even an ancient danger here. But there is. What the hell? 
Uh, yeah, so those horses I sold are here and they're wild. <laughs> Angel Terra, thanks for the resub. You are right here in this in this band of horses. I, uh, all right, sure. Reclaim, uh, Wolu is not an animal tamer, so he wouldn't be able to. I'd have to send Freya out here to do it. Um, but there's a reason I got rid of them. It's because I didn't want breeding pairs, so... So, yeah. All right, well, Luke, time to exit. There really isn't an ancient danger on this map tile. I should Wolu them? You mean I should bash them to death? Because that's all that he's capable of, as uh, Crypto is well aware. I'm just doing the claim trick to see if there's, there's any. And then I'm going to play DJ, because I don't want to listen to combat music for, like, the duration of this Manhunter pack. No thanks. All right, sorry, horses, but enjoy your time at Kohiswa. Sad music? Yeah, sad music for abandoning the horses. Hey, my pole map works now. I can pull you guys the proper way. See? It's back up. Transport pod crash for Smelly. Uh, Smelly the Drifter. A vat grown soldier who's bleeding to death very, very, very quickly. Yeah, uh, Smelly. What's odd here is Smelly kind of has a Viking influence last name, Hansen, right? Like son of Hans, but uh, is not a Viking. So, sorry, Smells, but. You're going to th going to hells. Well, actually, you're already in Helheim, so welcome. We've got free beer. Cheers. Yeah, careful shooter. I'm right there with you. Careful shooter makes me cringe. People think it's good. It's not. <laughs> careful shooter is probably only useful. All right. Apparently, I ask stupid questions. Uh, it's only useful, like, when you're launching a triple or doomsday launcher and you're invisible from a side cast. Like, that's the only situation where I would be like, oh, a careful shooter, I want that. And if you're wondering why, it's because... Oh. Okay, Manhunters. It's because, uh, the aiming time penalties for careful shooter don't outweigh their accuracy gains because you can increase your accuracy. Let me just go into the game mechanics. You can increase your accuracy by better vision, bionic eyes, architect eyes. You can increase your accuracy by higher manipulation, you know, better arms or whatever, or drugs. You can increase your accuracy with skill. You can increase your accuracy with um, a better weapon, you know, a more accurate weapon, because weapon quality matters. There is nothing you can do to increase your fire rate, nothing. There is literally nothing in the game other than trigger happy to increase the rate at which you fire your weapon. So a trait that increases your accuracy is worthless because you can increase your accuracy like 10 different ways, but you cannot increase your aiming time, your reduce your aiming time. So as a result, it's like, cool. Uh, your DPS is ultimately just much lower than everybody else's. Good job. So like I said, the only time I'd ever want a careful shooter is 
if I was, like, psycasted to be invisible and launching, like, a doomsday launcher or something, where, like, aim time doesn't matter, I just want one good shot. And before you ask, no, it does not help with mortars either. Mortars are driven off of no skill, and they're totally RNG-based. It would be awesome if they had an effect on mortars, but they don't. In fact, I would go so far as to say mortars shouldn't even be a shooting skill at all. If there were mortars in this game that were driven off of skill, I would say it should be driven off of an intellectual because it's mostly trigonometry. Mortaring isn't about aiming, really. It's about doing math, <laughs> you know? Hey, Volks. Hey, welcome to the stream, man. How has uh, RimWorld been treating you, Volks? I know you're new to it, and... Uh, these guys were just asking if I had like 5,000 hours into it, which I denied, but can't say it isn't possible. Yeah, higher intellect would be definitely better aim for for uh, for mortars if I had my way. All right, so of course they did. Of course they did. Of course they did. Of course they did. I hate caravanning. I feel like I feel like Francis from Left 4 Dead sometimes. Um but I hate caravanning. So, yeah, I entered from the east to go onto a west tile. So I am trying to sneak away from the pack of 16 wolfhounds because why of course I, you know, one of the problems I have is like, if you take a look at Wolu, right? He's entering from the Southeast. So logic has it that he should enter the map tile here, right? Like this, this caravan entered from the East, East Southeast. He, this caravan should have entered from here, but no, they somehow walked past the entire base and entered from the danger the danger side like why why would you who told you that this would be a good idea it's fine because apparently these um these wolfhounds don't use their noses to hunt and they have no idea that i'm upwind uh but Escandia and comey you are going to continue unfortunately i'm out of um i'm out of uh zone assignments so i have to keep reassigning them which is kind of annoying but I'm having them all march around. Now, Naz, don't have a mental break and go for crazy. Because that will be bad. In fact, stop and eat a meal. I don't care about the war crime of no table. Alright, they're all healed up. And they're heading home. Nope, nope. Don't go unload there. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have to keep repainting this, unfortunately. Because these horses have a death wish. Now, the, the Manhunter animals won't hunt my own animals. But if my animals come in contact with Manhunter animals, they will fight one another. Oh, really? Rhino Slayer? Well, it's too bad you're not a Wolfhound Slayer. But here, oh, wow, you're 16 years old and you've killed rhinos? With no combat skill to speak of? Good for you. I I think your creative artistry paints a picture that is not reality, is all I'm going to say. I just called you out. You're a liar, rhino. Uh, all right, uh, let's, let's quickly hit the everybody happy button because all of my caravan ears here are just about to snap. And snapping with with um manhunters oh nope they caught my scent snapping with manhunters would be um semi-fatal and you two animals go to the unload zone Yeah, here comes the wolves. They finally, or the wolfhounds, I should say. 
They finally, finally realized that where they were was a bad way to hunt me. But we're all inside, so. Except for Wolu, who's uh, heading in. He's going to have a fun time, but it's it's daytime when he comes in. And he's going to be able to outrun whatever. But Rhino here. Rip. You're dead. Nah, 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 nah. I like how she got buried in here. That's relatively funny to me. That she put herself into a little crypt and died, and then the door closed. <laughs> it's like, bye bye Now at this point, I would like Walu to enter from the west side, because it would be a shorter run, but he's so fast that these these um these animals aren't gonna be able to run him down. So it's it's kind of a moot thing. Akai Kenshi. Ooh, I like the Kenshi in your name. Thanks for the follow and welcome. Thank you for watching The Blades of Ragnarok, episode 57, which originally aired live on Twitch. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Keeping in mind that there are four hours yet to air of this series. If you would like to catch a live stream, Rodamont.com has all the information you need. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Thank you.